Hi guys, I wanted to pop one here and give you a little bit of uh, Tuesday tips um, about your makeup. Um, I posted earlier today about, the, it, most people don't know, you sleep in your makeup, um, it can age your skin seven years longer or quicker than it usually you usually age. Um, so I decided I was going to go on and do a little more research because I, I knew mascara. I know mascara you're only supposed to use for a certain amount of time um, and then you're supposed to throw it away. And as a young adult, I used it until it would run dry and I would throw it away. So I decided it was really important to go in and check all these things. Um, did you know mascara you're only supposed to use for three months? And I'm not really good about remembering when I open them because I open them, I throw them in. I usually use the same brand. So I just keep replacing the same one. So what I've started doing is I write the date on it. And I know it's backwards for you all, but I write the date on it. So I it, usually it's the first of the month or very close to the first of the month. So I know that February of 2020 is when I started this one. Now, this is going to hurt me way more than it's going to hurt you guys because I have stuff in this drawer I guarantee is 15 years old. And I have to throw it all out. And I'm going to. All right, so mascara, three months. Lipstick. Um, lipstick is a year, 12 months. This one I know is good. Um, eyeliner. And this is my favorite, and I can't find it anymore, and I have to throw it away. Eyeliner, the pencils, are 12 months. I can guarantee this one's way older than that, so in the trash it goes. What else do we have? We talked about eyeliner, mascara, eyeshadow. Eyeshadow, eyeshadow, these are new, so, and I use the, a lot of the same color. Um, eyeshadow is good for the liquid kind, three to six months, because it has something in it to make it stick to your lashes better, and usually it's, I don't have any because I don't use it anymore, but usually it's like mascara. You put the, the pull the, the wand out, and it's got a little sponge on the end, and you put it on. And then you put the wand back in. So whatever you may have accumulated from your eyes, not saying that you were gross, but there's bacteria on our skin. There's uh, particles of our skin, and it's going to go down into it, and it's going to break down, and it's going to cause bacteria. So liquid eye, uh, liquid eyeshadows, three to six months. Um, eye pencils. I have eye pencils. Just a pencil is good for 12 months. Liquid eyeliner, again, it's one of those ones which you're going to get, and it, it can back flush into the tube. This is three to six months. Or sorry, three to four months. So this one's still good. Um, what else do we have? I showed them. Foundation. Um, liquid foundation is six to 12. Um, the uh, If you're using like a mineral or a... A, like a powder foundation, it's you can keep it for up to two years. Do, 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 got lipstick, powder, blush, blush again. If it is in a powder, you can keep it up to two years. If it's a cream, like a stick, which I don't use, so I don't have it, uh, that one is cream blush, 12 to 18 months. And then we need to throw them away. So like I said, I have stuff in here, I can guarantee you. That's not, oops, I dropped it on the floor. Where is it? This, I have, I kid you not, I have had this since I moved from Delaware to Florida. And I've been in Florida 12 years, so guess what? In the trash it goes. Um, again, if you're one of those people that tend to forget, grab your magic marker and write on there when you opened it. And that way you'll know. You want to keep your skin as healthy as possible. And combating the things that can we usually you easily use you want to make sure that you ha they're gone throw them away they're not good it's just like food you're not gonna eat food that's spoiled so make sure you're throwing away the makeup that can be spoiled and cause your skin issues it can cause breakouts it can cause bacteria it can cause sores why would you want to go through that when you're taking you're working so hard to make your skin look as beautiful and as healthy as it is as it can be um i will talk to you again later we'll have another tip thing next tuesday and we will check in and see what's up Bye, guys.